The contact angle instrument is used to measure the contact angle of a liquid on a substrate, quantifying the wettability between the two components. The lower the contact angle, the better the wettability is. Turn on the computer. When in the DOS mode, before you enter Windows, hit R to open the software. Turn on the lamp source to turn on the light which is needed for accurate contact angle measurements. Place your substrate on the stage on the edge closest to the camera. Sand the substrate if needed to make sure you have a relatively flat surface for the measurements. Use the dial on the side of the machine to get the substrate into focus on the screen. Make sure the image is live as indicated in blue at the top of the screen. Press L to get to the live image while making adjustments. The window on the screen must encompass the drop to get accurate measurements. Adjust the window by hitting W and use the indicated keys to adjust the size of the window. Using the dial shown, move the stage side to side until you reach a fairly level surface on the substrate. Raise and lower the stage using the quick and fine tuning dials until the substrate is level with the line across the screen. Use the small dials below the stage to adjust the tilt of the stage and get a level substrate surface. Press B to establish the baseline. This is needed to establish the substrate surface for accurate contact angle measurement. The delta that appears should be as close to zero as possible, or just slightly positive or slightly negative. Make sure to reset the baseline every time you move the stage, or if you aren't getting the proper delta value. Next, take a pipette or micrometer to drop the liquid onto your substrate. It is better to use a micrometer to control the exact size of the drop. Place a droplet towards the edge of the substrate closest to the camera. Quickly adjust the focus and stage if your drop is not in focus or within the window. Press A to calculate the contact angles. An image will be taken and two contact angle measurements should appear. If the measurements don't appear or are clearly inaccurate, press A again. If you are continually having difficulties, you may need to re-establish the baseline or try another drop. Take multiple measurements to get an average contact angle. You can also take measurements of the drop after certain amounts of time, showing how the contact angle changes over time. A temperature box can also be used to measure contact angles at elevated temperatures. When you have completed your experiments, press Q to exit the software. Turn off the computer and the light source. Make sure to pick up your substrates and clean off the stage.